Hey guys, I've been feeling the urge to hop again, to distro hop. Now, I've kind of made a resolution. I'm not going to hop on my main production machine anymore, at least not the way I used to, where I was running something different every week, because it was causing me problems. I was losing a lot of time as far as time making videos and putting out content because of all the backing up restoring all the distro hopping on my main production machine was just getting out of hand but you know what this laptop back here i can hop on it so uh i've been running solus on this left laptop for about two months and solus is fantastic runs great on this machine i have absolutely no reason to wipe it out but i'm gonna wipe it out saturday night this past saturday on the big daddy linux podcast i made the joke that all of us should kind of do sort of like book clubs do where we all read a book and then after we all read it you know in a week we come back and share our thoughts about the book how about doing that with distro hopping we all hop to the same distro for a week and we report back you know give our separate opinions on it and one of the guys said yeah let's do an antergos and antergos the installer gives you eight options for desktop environments or window managers and one of the guys said we should each do a different desktop environment and window manager. And I said, great, I'll do open box. <laughs> so, got open box on this USB key. As far as the Antergos installer, I've got the Antergos minimal installer. During the install, I will choose to install the open box window manager. And I'm going to check out Antergos open box at least for the next week. And uh, I'll report back my experiences on Antergos open box on my laptop. Also, I'll, of course, I'll report back on my experiences on the Big Daddy Linux podcast this next Saturday. I'll uh, let those guys know how I enjoyed Antergo's open box on the laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and get this party started here. So plug, in my, plug in my USB stick here. I'm going to go ahead and reboot. This laptop, by the way, for those of you wondering, it's a Toshiba satellite. Toshiba satellites, they work great with Linux. I think the model number is C55. Bought this machine about four years ago. Paid about 330 bucks for it, brand new. So it's a cheap laptop, you know, nothing special. Has an AMD A8 processor. That is a uh, a quad core processor, I believe, and uh, six gigs of memory. And I want to say it came with a one terabyte drive. So. All right, so I booted up the USB stick here. We have the option in the boot menu of boot from hard disk, start Antergos Live, or non-graphical boot. I'm going to start Antergos Live. I'm going to go ahead and get into the live environment, and I'm going to go through the install. I'm not going to record the install. and You guys wouldn't be able to see much of the install anyway. Uh, but once I get this thing fully installed, up and running, and I'll uh, show you guys the desktop. I'll probably install some kind of remote desktop so I can record on OBS on my main machine, but actually record the desktop on this laptop. So I'll be back. One thing to note about the Antergos installer, it's a little different than a lot of other Linux installers out there. It is actually a net installer, meaning it's going to pull down everything from the internet. So this laptop, of course, I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi here at home, but you may or may not, if you have access to Ethernet, like my main production machine has a wired connection, I might go ahead and just unplug the Ethernet from my main production machine and plug in a wire uh, and do a wired connection just for safety purposes, just to make sure there are no issues with the Wi-Fi, you know, maybe sputtering or anything so maybe something you guys consider if you're doing an install of antrigos it's the one thing i've never liked about antrigos is that it's a net installer because that net installer it makes the iso small because there's not much on it but the install process itself takes a bit longer than something like manjaro for example i cannot believe i just wiped out a perfectly good installation of solus well, there's no coming back from it now. It's already formatted the drive, so... Anyway, Antergos, the installer's going to take a while again. Being a net installer, this may take, I don't know, at least half an hour, maybe even an hour. 
for, for this to go through what it needs to go through. For the partitioning, it had the option of setting up a separate home partition. I normally don't do that. Certainly don't do it when I do my uh, reviews of distros and VMs, but on physical hardware, I thought, you know what, I'm going to let it go through the automatic partitioning and set up a home home partition. So it created a, you know, a root, a swap, and a separate home partition. All right, so I'm just going to let that run. Uh, one thing I will say, you know, I, I'm hopping today on this laptop. I really don't like hopping on this dip laptop e either because I only have two machines. I have my main production machine that I really don't want to hop on right now because, again, it was causing me problems hopping on it all the time. A laptop, I don't mind it that much, but I do use this laptop. You know, I take it with me, so I don't want to keep blowing it away, you know, every few weeks either. So you guys, I've told you guys I wanted to buy like some, some used hardware, some older hardware to test out on the channel to hop on, especially to hop with uh, like minimal distros, check out distros like Antics, Puppy, maybe Q4 OS, things like that that are designed to work on older hardware. Well, I've been shopping around a little bit. And yesterday I went ahead and pulled the trigger on a used laptop. On eBay, I found a ThinkPad, a ThinkPad E535, really nice ThinkPad, 17-inch screen, full keyboard. I mean, it's got the keypad and everything with an i7 processor and 4 gigs of RAM for $100. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on that, $100. Now, it doesn't have a hard drive, so it's not going to have any kind of drive. Of course, no operating system installed because there's no drive, but that's fine. Uh, I bought for a $100 bill, 17-inch ThinkPad. With an i7 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, I'm going to buy some cheap SSD to, to throw in it. You know, I can find 128 gig uh, SSD drives these days. There's some pretty cheap brands, some Chinese and Taiwanese brands of SSDs that you can get for 40 bucks for 128 gig. If I wanted to bump that up a little bit, which I might, I'm going to go maybe 256 gigs. And, you know, some of those drives are in the 50 $55 range. So I'm going to go ahead and buy an SSD for probably around $160 to $180 all expenses. I will have a 17 inch ThinkPad with an i7 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and probably 256 gigs of SSD storage on it. So I've been, you know, planning on, on doing some of that. Now I'll have two laptops. One will actually be my laptop. <laughs> And then one will be, this is the machine that we just blow away every week and, and test distros on real hardware. Now, of course, you know, spending, you know, 160 to $200 on a machine just for testing distros for this channel. You guys want to help out with that? Uh, please consider donations. Uh, you guys that, you, you know, I have a Patreon page at the end of my videos. Of course, I do shout outs to all my patrons. You guys that find this channel this content informative and interesting and entertaining, please consider uh, maybe subscribing to my Patreon. You guys that want to do one-time donations, uh, PayPal is an option. Uh, I also do LibrePay for those that want to do donations but do it anon anonymously. That's fine too. Uh, you will find links to my Patreon in the show description. You will also find links to PayPal and LibrePay in the header of my YouTube channel. Anyway, before I go, I do want to give a special thanks to all my patrons, David, Carlos, Nick, Daniel, Brian, Leor, A.K., Ron, Keith, Dan, Michael, Tony, Bruno, David, Mike, Silvio, Omar, Mark, Mr. Neely Pops, John, Carl, Greg, Rob, Matt, Christian, Tiedemann, Stephen Z, Eduardo, Alex, Jake, Benjamin, Stephen B., Marcus, Interceptor, Tubella, Humade, Paul, and Chuck. You guys rock. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys. 